This morning, your letter indicated that you two had planned places for us to go together. Every interesting place I see, I make a mental reservation and tell myself that I shall take you there when you are mine. I want to go through the museum, the Congressional Library, the Smithsonian, the Civil War battlefields, and all of those most interesting places. You know, one week we must go over to New York together. Now, why must we wait 12 long months to begin to do the things we want to do forever and ever? This morning after breakfast, I went down to Doris's, and we hide forth in search of Cape Jasmine bushes and a little magnolia and jonquil bulbs, me thinking I could find them somewhere. And in the florist sketch, they are quite numerous and expensive. We walk through the woods to the old Haggerty place, site of an old colonial mansion now quite dilapidated and doleful looking. It always gives me a very poignant feeling to go over there. It must have been a lovely place. There are the tallest magnolias I've ever seen, and great live oaks, and myriads of crepe myrtle, and a carpet of jonquils and flags in the spring. My dear bird, this morning I'm ambitious, proud, energetic, and very madly in love with you. I want to see people. I want to walk through the throngs. I want to do things with a drive. If I had a box, I'd almost make a speech this minute. Plans, ideas, hopes, I'm bubbling over with them. Lyndon, please tell me as soon as you can what the deal is. I'm afraid it's politics. Oh, I know I haven't any business, not any proprietary interest, but I would hate for you to go into politics. <laughs> 